Hi, my name is Ginger Boyce, and I'm a wellness counselor at Care to Change Counseling. Today, I'm going to talk about mind-body connection. It's kind of a buzzword, and you've probably heard it before, but what actually does it mean? Mind-body connection is the concept that our mind and our body work together. Our mental health and physical health are intimately intertwined. So our chemistry and our biology affect our mood, our emotions, our thoughts, and vice versa. It's important to understand how the two are connected so that we can approach our health in a holistic way. If we aren't addressing all aspects of our health, then we're not setting ourselves up for success. Oftentimes we don't take the time to even notice how our body's feeling or what's going on in our body. We're usually consumed with our thoughts and what's going on in our head, what needs to be done that day, our schedule, um, what's going on at work or at home. It's hard to take a moment and think about how our lifestyle is affecting our physical health. If a person has experienced traumatic events or has chronic stress in their life, there may be even more of a disconnect between the mind and the body. Oftentimes when trauma, a traumatic experience has happened, we dissociate from our bodies. The body has caused harm or pain and therefore we tend to disconnect from that. Because the body is involved in trauma, even sometimes we may feel numb or not have the awareness that our body needs something like needs to eat or needs hydrated or needs to use the restroom, things like that. What are some ways that we can improve our mind-body connection? First of all, we need to pay attention. So take some time just to observe yourself. How do you feel as you're going throughout your day? Maybe you take pauses during the day just to assess, am I feeling anything in my body? Is my body feeling any effects from the stress that I'm going through at work or my particular activity level or my schedule? Second, listen to your body. Once you pause and you can tell or hear what your body is saying to you, take some action. And then there are some specific tools that you can use to help improve that mind-body connection. The first one might be pausing and practicing intentional breathing. Taking a moment to take some deep breaths relaxes the nervous system. It gives you a pause or a minute to really feel. What does it feel like when I take a really deep breath? When you're taking deep breaths like that, it relaxes the nervous system, it lowers the heart rate, helps bring you into a place where you can feel more calm. Another technique we use is called grounding. So when you're practicing grounding, you're noticing where your body is connected. So if you're standing, your body's connected through the feet, and maybe you just take a minute to notice the floor beneath you or how your feet feel in your shoes. If you can do this barefoot, uh, that can give you even more feedback. Noticing how your feet feel against the floor. Grounding is a technique where you can feel really supported. Oftentimes, if we're feeling stressed or anxious, we may have this sort of floating feeling or feeling like we can't gather our thoughts or even kind of know what our body's doing. So grounding is a technique that you can use to help with that. Another way to improve your mind-body connection is by exercise or movement. Anytime you're bringing attention to your body, it helps you kind of get out of your thoughts for a moment. And exercising, especially big muscle groups, practicing any sort of balancing exercises or postures just helps really bring attention to your body and you can notice how your body feels and what's going on. Another technique would be try something new, have some fun, maybe trying a different type of exercise than you typically do, or a new hobby. Another way to increase your mind-body connection is doing certain practices that help you be in the present moment. 
So oftentimes we're either thinking about the past or anticipating the future. So anytime we can stop, make a connection to the present is helping with that mind-body connection. One way to do that is noticing your senses. And when you're in a particular situation, pause for a moment. Notice what are you seeing? What are you smelling? What do you hear? That's one technique. Uh, practice, pausing for a moment and practicing those deep breaths, bringing attention to your body, that helps you stay in the present moment. You can also take a task, say a mindless task, like I usually, for example, use the task of brushing your teeth. So something you do hopefully twice a day, and we don't really put much thought into it, but when you take a mindless task, like brushing your teeth, and make it, make it a mindful task. So maybe you're pausing for a minute and noticing uh, the taste of the toothpaste or how it feels to brush your teeth. That is helping, strength, help, helping to strengthen the mind-body connection. You can follow Care to Change on Instagram and Facebook or check out their website at caretochange.org.